Hey guys, welcome back to Something Unlimited. So if you're seeing this and you were a fan on OnlyFans, uh, well, this will probably be out way after that, but you're gonna have to go to the subscribe star and the Patreon. No, I don't know what I did wrong. Success. Sinestro pulled off the heist successfully. You obtained Summit Relic 1. Bitch, don't be. Good. Alright, this is the last one. The strange relic glitters with unnatural light. Yes, this will be perfect. The object floats over to Tala for a moment. Then it flies off quickly to the final corner of the room. We can begin the ceremony right away. No build-up or anything? I have already charged the relics you brought me, darling. And the last one just now. The ruins on the floor will focus their power now. Hmm, I did always wonder what those were for. But what or who are you summoning here? A great prize for you, master. One powerful half-demon, she will become an awesome weapon for you, darling. Powerful half-demon? Are you sure that's a good idea? She will be bound to the one who summons her. My summoning spell will act as your, we your device. She will be summoned here as she sleeps. Before she awakes, she will already be returned home. Very well. I trust your judgment then. Thank you, baby. Tala will not fail you. Now I must va now I must begin while the magic is the strongest. Tala's hand glows brightly as she speaks words in a strange language. Yes, it is working. The floor begins the floor and the room begin to gradually become brighter. Now the spirits of the void. Bring me the dark one, Isaac. Da -da 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 -da. I actually get Zelda music. Mostly um, Ocarina of Time is what I think of. Is I think that's new art. I think this is actually new. Finally, a cloaked figure floats over the magic circles in the middle of the room. Well, you had me nervous with the half-demon. But she looks like an ordinary girl, a bit pale, though. Do not let her appearance fool you, darling. She is the daughter of the powerful demon Trigon. Hmm. She's still asleep? Yes, I must finalize my spell. Good. I'll calibrate my device as well. Very good, baby. I will prepare a room for her here. She is far too dangerous to control anywhere else. All right, good work, my pet. Tala is very pleased you approve her master. You take the device out of your pocket and begin to attune it. Tala's hand continues to glow white by deep purple as she chants some forgotten tongue. You successfully summoned Raven. Her hand glows brightly as she speaks words in a strange ta language. You walk into the workshop just as the floor begins to glow. And just what exactly is going on here? Oh, well... Stop this immediately. Once the ceremony is dotted, it cannot be stopped. You grimace at Harley as she clears her throat. Uh, well, nothing we can do now, Mr. L. The floor begin... The floor and the room begin to gradually become brighter. Now, spirits of the void, across time and space, bring me the one I seek. Oh, is this how I actually do it? Two summonings in one minute. What? Okay, a little more than a minute, I guess. Dun -dun -dun. Again, I really, if I could think about it, or I could be bothered, which I probably can't. A pale girl fades in from the black and floats over to the circles in the magic circles in the middle of the room. She is wearing a skimpy black and red costume with blonde dyed hair. She looks almost identical to Harley. Oh, wow, look at that, Mr. L. It's me. Very strange of you to summon another one, darling. Yes, very strange indeed. I can explain, Mr. L. 
Don't have my don't have me blasted with magic. I will keep her asleep for now, but eventually she will wake awaken. Explain and we'll see about the magic blasting. Well, I was thinking that you got henchwomen, so I should get one too. I tried the cloney thingy, but it was way too complicated. Then I thought, hey, magic can do whatever. So ta-da, my henchwoman. I'll take real good care of her, honest. You sigh to yourself out loud. You look at her floating at, at, you look he floating Harley up and down for a moment. Well, for now, I'll take her back to LexCorp. I can attune the device to her, then figure this all out. Very good, darling. If she doesn't turn out useful, at least she can go to the Bardello. I'll decide on a punishment for you later. All right, Mr. L. You take a small device and wave it around, scanning her. Tala's hand continues to glow white surrounded by deep purple as she chants some forgotten tongue. You've successfully summoned Harley Quinn. My girl, you, Zari baby, I'm too busy at the moment. That, that is okay. You go chill. You are having an awesome day. Zari baby, the summoning drains most of my power. I will take some time before I can do it again. It's all right. That is understandable. I'm sure it takes considerable energy to pull things from nothing. Thank you, darling. Do I need to... Okay. I'm just checking. You did good, Tala, my baby girl. You go do your thing. Sinestro, you're awesome, babe. You're coming with us. So we're going to take people out of the... Um, we're going to take people in and put it in the meta bardell. Well, we'll do the meta bardell on the next episode. Let's uh, kind of get further with the people that we have inside the room, you know, inside the base right now, and maybe save meta bardello for when we need to unlock something. No, yeah, I'll do that. I'll get a little farther. Here's what I'll do. When I get to the end of everyone's ma basic conversation, I'm going to kick them over to the meta bardello and then bring them back to do the other naughties. More developed fetus floats in the orange liquid. You can see the small arms, legs, and head. A tiny tail still sticks out at the end of it. You press a few commands on the console nearby. This looks good. Everything is going nicely this, with this clone. The growth process is very quick. You examine a few moments and then leave. Yeah, she's fully. Yep, she is still absolutely locked. Okay. I actually don't know what's wrong with her. This is a fresh save. Maybe I have to do a few more things with her. Before we do that, I am actually going to see. Okay, she has done her special. I'm going to send her to the Meta Bordello and see if that fixes her. We'll get to them in a minute. Oh, Artemis, what's this? Oh, darling, I have an absolutely perfect idea for an addition to our roster. All right, not someone too powerful, I hope. Collecting too many overpowered females could be a problem eventually. Selena quickly licks the back of her hand. Ooh, this one's no has no powers at all. No, hmm, no powers? You have my attention. Yes, it's very fortunate. You roll your eyes at her cat puns. All right, who is it? Her name is Artemis. I don't think I've heard of her. She seems to be a new talent on the scene. 
Maybe an apprentice of the Green Arrow? She wears green and shoots arrows anyways. Mm, I'll look into it. It's good to have some minor heroes to balance out the more powerful and popular ones. Selina strokes her hip for a moment. She would be an easy catch. You shake your head and grimace a bit. Well, I better get going. I'm sure you have work to do. Yes, I do have some personal business to attend to. Okay, great. You back out of the room and hear some loud meows as you walk away and discuss. You can now capture Artemis. Okay. Okay, so I need to. Yeah. So this is, I'm hoping, fixing her because she is bugged as fucker nutters right now. So I'm trying to see if this will work. Oh, oh, oh. I have no idea if this is going to fix her. This thing is bugging out bad. Um, I'll have to show this, of course, to... I don't know. Maybe there's something. Maybe she doesn't unlock until later. She has been a thorn in my side. Ooh, heck yeah. You go, boys. You go be my, you go be my boys. You, you make mama proud. You make mama proud. So I assume everything is running smoothly over at the Meadow Bordello. It's all going great so far. As you must have noticed from the extra income lately, I must say it's good to see so much cash flying around. Roulette has a very wide grin on her face as she says the words, You'll have to enlighten me eventually on what your endgame scheme is for all this. I have quite a few ideas I'd like to act on. For now, we can pile up money and try to keep the Justice League off our backs. They're going to interfere directly sooner or later. Yes, that's certainty. As you well know, those of us without ridiculous powers have to use some ha of us some very human ones to fight them head on. Such as, intelligence and cold hard cash will be our weapons of choice. Some, laser eye, some eye lasers would be a nice touch too, though. No one would discount Batman for not having lasers or super speed. He would stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any Justice Leaguer with, the, with these tools. Mm, very good point, Lex. And I'm much more brilliant than Batman. You walk out of Roulette's office with a large smile on your face. <laughs> Jesus, man. You want to dance? Well... I'll show you what I can do. You get comfortable on her bed as she gets ready. Okay, we've seen this. Lois takes a few deep breaths as she comes to a stop. Very nice. I can see you put a lot of work into your routine. You see Lois's face just beaming from the praise. Then she quickly tries to hide it. Well, there's not much to it, really. Maybe you could have a place dancing in my glamour slam. Dancing for some low-life perverts in a seedy strip club? Well, if it gets me out of this shithole for a while, count me in. Well, I'll think about it. There would be quite a few rules in place. Wouldn't want you to try to do something stupid. Me? Do something stupid? Never. I'll consider it. Now I have other things to take care of. The door slides open quickly and shuts as you walk into the hallway. We know your plans. Well, you've been making some decent progress. I've given you a bit of grace period, but it's time to get things moving. What's that supposed to mean? Like I said before, this is entertainment. If you're not being very entertaining, then there isn't much point, is there? Whoa, wait. Come on. Come on here. You walk towards the bed and calmly sit down. Batgirl, command. Come bend over here. Uh, what the? Barbara walks over and bed. Well, I hope you enjoyed your lesson. Barbara shakes her head for a second. She quickly tries to stand up on wobbly legs. What the hell was that? Like I said, others touching you is, Im 
amplified, especially me. So eventually your pleasure overpowered the pain of being spanked. That's all you wanted to show me? She steadies herself as her knees shake a bit. Yes, now you'll need, now you'll keep it up. Yes, now you keep it in the back of your mind. I'd love to teach some more, but I have other things to attend to. You leave quickly before she can say anything. Oh, my ass. Barbara flops face down on the bed and rubs her butt slowly. Helena glares at you as you walk into her room. She is wearing a purple suit with light blue necklace. What is this supposed to be? You look her over as she frowns with hands on her hips. Just checking to see if my device is functioning properly. Though this is an odd choice. What are you b rambling about? I didn't choose anything. Just woke up like this. You grin to yourself and put your hands behind your back. Well, I allowed you to pick a different outfit if you wished. This seems to be what you've chosen. Hm. Like I'd believe anything you have to say. Not a bad idea, but you'll have to make up your own mind. You can always take it off if you wish as well. Helena grimaces and turns her head. You walk in and the door closes with a swish. Helena Bartinelli, the school teacher. Her eyes go wide and then she quickly tries to conceal her surprise. Well, we can't all be billionaires, you know. Some of us have to work for a living. It is quite impressive, really. Working during the day but still going out on patrol the streets at night. I can respect the hardship of us regular humans. Yeah, you sure are the archetype for common man, Lex. I notice you've got your money back pretty quick this time. I just happen to much more I just happen to be much more intelligent than the average person. Money is mostly just a consequence of being exceptional. Helena rolls her eyes and stares off at the wall. Is there some reason you came in here? Just checking in on my latest subject. Though I doubt anything could go wrong with my tech. Is it still prudent to obs it is still prudent to observe. But I am also a busy man. I'll be back another time. You turn and head back out the doors as they open and close quickly. If his head got any bigger, it's going to get stuck in the doorway next time. She laughs to herself for a moment, then goes back to pacing around. You've unlocked Huntress's suit costume. It is nice on her. There's my girl. I love Black Canary's design. Black Canary stands in the middle of the room with her arms crossed as you enter. She glowers at you with a light blue suit on. Now just what is this supposed to be? Are you going through my clothes? You look her over as she glowers and stays in place. I simply allowed you to choose another outfit. I didn't think it was strange that you woke up... Didn't you think it was strange that you woke up wearing it? Black Canary narrows her eyes, but she's thinking to herself. Hmm. Just another trick. I don't know what your scheming really is, but this is just childish. She frowns and tightens her arms together even more. It is very simple, really. I suppose it won't hurt for you to know what you are up against. She pretends to be unconcerned and stares off to the wall. Then you take another step into the room and the door automatically closes behind you. I have the control device that can manipulate your brainwaves. You've been under its influence this whole time. What? You and your stupid games, Luthor. Black Canary, command. Drop and give me ten push-ups. Black Canary immediately drops to the floor and starts to do them. <sighs> oh. She quickly jumps back up after, uh, after with a look of fury in her eyes. You. You. Coward! It doesn't really matter what you say. I'm the one in control. Also, your precious league is not coming for you because you are not in go you are not gone. She just stares at you with a look of confusion and anger. You you don't even make any sense anymore. You only come here when you fall into REM sleep. Otherwise, you are functioning you are functioning as normal when you are awake. Just for now, you can't remember what's happening here and vice versa. That is a sadistic plan. Wait. 
This is why I felt so drained lately. I'm not really getting any rest in the first place. Oh, your mind is, at least, for the most part. Though that can only sustain you for so long. Your physical body will get exhausted over time. What is even the point of all this? Mostly I just have you perform for money in my clubs. I did lose a significant amount going to prison. I needed a quick way to make it all back. You'd never imagine what people would pay for heroin performances. Ugh. I should have known that it was just about making money. Making a vast amount of money, you mean. Didn't one of the recent DC movies have this thing with the... the Was it a strip club with the same plot? Do they watch this, Deb? But I've spent enough time in enlightening you. I have many other projects to monitor as well. You turn sharply and head out the door as she grimaces at you. Well, this isn't good at all. If I'm back during the day, there's no way the Justice League will look for me. And I can't get a message to them, or myself even. Black Canary paces around the room, thinking to herself, You've unlocked Black Canary's suit costume. The door slides open as an unimpressed Harley Quinn. She appears arms crossed and throws you a cold, grimacing stare. Uh, Luthor? What the hell are you doing here holding- What are you doing in here? What the hell are you doing holding me in here? Harley looks at you up and down for a minute. And what the hell happened to you? You're looking a lot more Jack than I remember. You give her a grimace back and let out a long sigh. This'll take some time to explain, I suppose. Whoa, 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 what is up with your voice now? Did I fall into Bizarro World or some shit? I gotta cut back on those late night Mai Tais. You're not too far off, but I doubt you could even com comprehend anyways. Why you son of a bitch? I got a P and I got a PH fucking D, you know. In astrophysics? Pfft, well, it's all the same shit, really. I can tell you it's a little more complicated than that. You stare down at her with your hands behind your back. Then you take another couple steps in the room and the door automatically closes behind you. Well, how can I explain this? Time is ticking, then I'll kick you in the block. Then I'll kick you in or Time is ticking, then I'll knock your block off. You better let me out of here right now. Or I'll... Or you'll what exactly? I'll give you one of these. Harley cartwheels across the room at you but quickly flies right past you and into the wall. She shakes her head as she lays on the floor. Okay, just a sec here. She gets up and tries to run at you and grab you, but completely misses again and slides across the floor. Ah, fuck! You really think I'd even come in here if you could just attack me? I thought you had a PhD. Harley bounces up in front of you and puts her hands on her hips. Ah, fuck off! Just what the hell did you do to me? Of course, I have a device that prevents you from doing whatever you like. Pfft, well, I knew that. Just testing to see if you knew that. Also, you've been brought into an alternate dimension from your own. Harley stares at you blankly with a confused look. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm, let me see here. You know what Friends episode where Monica stayed fat? You're in that right now. Harley lets out a shock gasp. That can't be. You're trying to mess with my head. All right, tell me exactly how you arrived in this room. Huh, well, I was hanging out at the mall, and then... Um, I, uh... I can, it's totally blank now. I keep you sedated... I kept you sedated until I had time to deal with you. This is bullshit. Send me back right now, right the fuck now. You are in no position to make demands. A lot of time and energy was wasted bringing you here. Unfortunately, the Harley in this dimension is not the sharpest tool either. Other Harley? You mean there's actually a Bizarro Harley? More like Harley Prime and a knockoff. Of course. You're the knockoff. What? I ain't no imitation. I'm the real deal. Well, I'm still deciding what to do with you in the first place. Duh, send me back. What the fuck? I don't think so. For now, enjoy your stay. The drones will bring you food periodically. 
You quickly head out the doors before she can really react. Motherfucker! Get back in here! Harley tries to pull at the thin line where the doors come together. Then she tries to kick the door, but her foot stops just before it. Ah, oh, come on! All right, let's go to the next day. Well, well, let's go see Harley Prime and go yell at her. Fuck you, Harley. You're not doing anything new, then. All righty. Success. Sinestro pulled off the heist successfully. You obtained Cadmus data. Who does the Cadmus data... Uh, who does the Cadmus data go to? Tell us... Oh, fine. You do your thing, girl. You do your thing. You're good. You're good. So there's nothing right now, so I'm going to hold off a heist. Was it you? You notice Vandal Savage talking to Roulette as you walk in. Luckily, he doesn't seem to notice, so you try to head to the back quickly. But an angry-looking Princess Audrey blocks your path. Where are you sneaking off to? Isn't it a little warm for a winter coat? What? You would question a future queen? The peasants in this silly country are, are the woods. Well, I better be going. You take a start to turn back, but she quickly steps forward and grabs your arm. Oh, no, you won't. Hmm. You shall come with me. But you disobey me and I will have your head on on wretched peasant. You wretched peasant. Some of the patrons turn and Princess Audrey's yelling. Fine. She grabs you by the arm and quickly pulls you into the woman's bathroom. Good. No one will disturb us in here. You are a bold one. Ugh, don't presume I would suck your filthy cock or something. Savage cannot hear us in here. You have a proposition then? Good. You understand the business. I need an escape. This pointless wedding. Savage is old and boring. Hmm. It is a tall order. But it would be nice to see Savage with egg on his face. That's hardly worth all the trouble, though. I can understand you need some incensive over to you. You get nothing until our deal is complete. All right. You perked my interest. Oh, you don't even know about the perks. Vandal Savage seems to let his guard down when he's here. So next time he comes in, you will too, but don't make it seem too obvious. This will be this will not be hard. I'll have you abducted and we blame it on some convenient terrorists. Very well, I shall be ready. Do not fail me. Princess Audrey struts with her nose in the air as she pushes past you. You stay in the bathroom and think to yourself. Very fortunate turn of events. I'll have to get Roulette up to speed on this. You finally leave, making sure no one notices you. Okay, let's see now. So you've recovered the Cadmus data archives? Yes, I haven't gone through all of it yet, but so far nothing useful pertaining to Hawkgirl. Her lack of obvious weaknesses and flight will be annoying, but far from impossible. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. On the bright side, it's not a total waste. It looks like Cadmus has some very detailed, extensive records. There will, there will be some nuggets of information to be siphoned out of it. Even I underestimated how far their tentacles seem to have reached. Excellent. But what about Hawk Girl? Whoever is sent to capture her will have to muddle through. I'll get someone experienced on it as soon as I can. You can now capture Hawk Girl. Let's try it. Can't talk to her yet. Here's some money. I wish somebody would give me 30 grand. Oh man, I don't know what I would do if that actually happened. Okay. 
Sure. Okay, so we have two. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, my guy. That is not what I wanted to do. I need to check something. I let's put you in the meta bordello. You let's go. I have been told about something with Toy Maker, so I will, once he shows up, I'm going to try it. Thank you to every, there you are, where the, f all right, I might have to cheat him out, but thank you to the people who have been giving me pointers. Uh, if anyone has a pointer on Zatanna, I'm going to figure out what the fuck is wrong with her. Okay, so that's the same. Barbara immediately covers her ass with her hands the moment you enter. Protecting your ass from another spanking? Or did you want to be spanked again? What? No, of course not. She bites her lip for a second. That's the last thing I want. You creep? Well, well said. Very convincing. You don't have to pretend it's not your, on your mind. So you're spanking my ba bare ass. Big deal. That doesn't mean anything to me. Do you know how many times I've almost been raped or killed? Well, it's probably a lot. I lost track. So maybe I came a bit... Maybe I came a bit from being spanked. I can admit it. You're not going to wear me down, Luthor. Very brave words. I've heard so many of them from heroines. They all kind of run together. Well, I just wanted to see how you were adjusting and what you've learned. You seem to be taking it a little worse than most, but oh well. I have many other things to attend to before the night is over. You quickly turn and walk out as the door slide open. Taking it worse? So I thought you were going to tell me your whole scheme. I suppose it can't hurt anything now. Roulette is running a superhero sex ring for me. With heroines as the centerpiece, of course. Is that what you were tracking down? What? No, of course not. I thought she had another underground fighting club going. We decided to step it up another level. Better income, easier to deal with. Wait, then I'm part of it too? You slowly stare at Helena for a moment. Oh, damn it. No wonder you said entertainment. This explains all the heroines acting weird lately, too. It's a simple control device that I developed with some spare parts. But it was Roulette's idea to run the ring itself. <laughs> well, at least my hunches were right all along. A little more time and I would have definitely found this out. Maybe you still will, who knows? Helena has shocked look on her face, but then starts to think. What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed ought to mean? You only come here when you're go to sleep. Didn't you think it was odd waking up in the same place all the time? Never having to eat or anything? Yeah, I knew it. You simply do not remember your activities here and vice versa. Well, it is pretty brilliant. Even Question isn't going to look for me if I'm still showing up normally most of the time. Precisely. It isn't a perfect plan, but it will confuse anyone that catches on. So I'm stuck here then? At least for as long as I feel like it. If you do become too boring, I can always move you to the bordello. Bordello? I think that's enough for you to get an idea of the master plan for now. I have other projects to deal with tonight. You give her a slight grin as you turn and head back out the room. Well, this is not good at all. Helena starts to pace back, pace around thinking to herself. Sleepy puppy. Checking in on your new pet project? Why, yes, actually. I think you're making progress, at least. Hmm. 
Well, I guess you've thought this through, and there isn't much I can do. You grin back at Black Canary as she stares off from your gaze. A nice realization for you to make. Unless someone figures out your scheme. I'm stuck here. Eventually it'll fail, as everything does over time. But this could be a long time from now. Would you rather be entertaining me personally or mindlessly performing for a group of lowlives? Though I am working on upgrading my clubs. Well, that isn't much of a choice. Of course I know what most girls must decide. Everything seems to be in your favor. Exactly. That's the whole pur purpose. But it isn't without its own rewards. The device will also amplify pleasure. Even more so with me, of course. Pfft. Well, you really have set up quite the scenario here. Like I said before, it is for mostly for my entertainment. And if I resist, I'm shipped back to work as your clubs. It isn't very hard a concept. I'm sure you've been in many perilous situations as a heroine. We will have to talk more another time. I have many other experiments that I'm working on as well. Black Canary stares at you with a frown in her face as you walk out. This will be an annoying one. I have to stall for time, but there's only really one way. I need to relax for now, though. She struts over the bed and stretches out on it. You step into Harley's room as she bumps as she jumps off the bed. All right, this is really trying my patience. You better let me out of here or else. Or else what this time? Ivy is going to get real pissed. She'll probably destroy this whole fucking place. The Ivy in this dimension that has never met you or knows you even exist? Shit. I forgot about that bullshit. Technically, only a handful of people even know about you here. So you should pick your words carefully. Really, you have no rights since you don't exist in the first place. Hey, well, you don't need to jump to any hasty decisions. Well said. I am in, a com I am in complete control here. Psh. It seems Lexes don't change too much across dimensions either. You narrow your eyes and grimace at her. Totally in charge, of course. As intriguing as it would be to compare, I'm not really interested. If you're at least as competent as this world's Harley, you look her up and down for a moment, then perhaps you can work off your debt. What the fuck am I going to work, o work it off with in here? You let out a sigh and glare at her again. Finally, Harley's w eyes widen as she realizes, Oh, ah oh shit. Okay, well, I guess Lexes really don't fucking change. It's up to you for the most part. If you're going to be a bad investment, then I'll get my money back one way or another. You turn on your heels and head out the doors as they open for you. Oh, that bastard. Maybe I'm in a fucking pickle here, though. All right, with that, we're going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, please join the Patreon or the Subscribe Star, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Good night.